Styrofoam. It's produced as an everyday item. In the United States alone, there are 818 companies that produce styrofoam. It's found in objects such as cups and school lunch trays, all the way to packaging peanuts. You see it everywhere. These products fill up to 25 to 30 percent of landfill space worldwide. You see how useful it is. It's very lightweight and offers great insulation. What you don't see is how harmful it is towards the environment and the human race. One styrofoam cup takes anywhere from 500 to 1 million years to decompose. Around 3 million tons of styrofoam is produced annually in the United States alone and every day. About 1,369 tons of styrofoam is dumped into U.S. landfills. Styrofoam is made up of polyesterine, which is a petroleum-based plastic which also contains styrene. If you are regularly exposed to the manufacturing of styrofoam products, you might experience irritation of the eyes, skin, or even the upper respiratory tract, or gastrointestinal problems. It could also cause minor kidney function effects, headaches, fatigue, weakness, or even depression. As far as environmental effects go, it's non-biodegradable, causes air pollution, food contamination, and it's unsustainable. If only there was a way to help the environment and get rid of the styrofoam. Sure, there are alternatives to this material, such as biodegradable packaging peanuts, paper and cardboard, cornstarch, biodegradable plastics, etc. But these innovative, eco-friendly materials aren't going to help the problem that mankind has already created. We need a solution to the pre-existing problem. But what if the answer was right in front of us? We're discovering new information about organisms in nature on a daily basis. The mealworm can provide a solution to this problem. The mealworm has the ability to survive on a strictly styrofoam diet. You might be wondering, how is this possible? Well, their stomachs contain a special enzyme called exiguobacterium strain YT2, which allows them to be able to digest and survive solely on styrofoam. If we use this enzyme to our advantage, we can get rid of a good amount of styrofoam in our landfills. According to our calculations, 1,000 mealworms can eat about 8.6 styrofoam cups within a month. For our experiment, we created six different environments for the mealworms to survive in and eat styrofoam cups to see if one particular environment was best for the mealworms. We created environments such as damp, dry, cold, warm, along with room temperature with just styrofoam and room temperature with just bran as our control. In each environment, we put approximately 23.4 grams of mealworms to test this. Out of all the environments, we saw the best results from the room temperature with just styrofoam. We took this observation and applied our knowledge that no one would throw away a styrofoam cup without using it first. So in conclusion to this, we used styrofoam cups with coffee, hot chocolate, and other hot beverage residue in them. And as we predicted, the mealworms ate these cups exponentially more than the normal cups. Therefore, our data shows clear evidence that mealworms consume and can live off a strictly styrofoam diet and can, in fact, be the answer to the world's styrofoam issue. This means that we can prohibit the 25 billion styrofoam cups from entering our waterways and landfills in the future as they do now. By eliminating this problem, we are discarding the harmful effects which styrofoam pollution has on our world and the people in it. And we are also providing the care that our environment really deserves.